Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Holly, and today is going to be reset day. I got back at 3 a.m. this morning from a week-long work trip out in Seattle, which was so fun and inspiring, and I just have all sorts of great ideas after um, the conference. I was there for a software called Smartsheet, which is something I use at my job um, quite a bit, and it was just so fun. I yeah, I'm incredibly glad we went, even though the trip home was not ideal. We um, had a flight from Seattle to Seattle, Seattle to Chicago that was delayed an hour and completely wiped our layover time. And then we missed our flight by like five minutes or something like that from Chicago to Grand Rapids, which was really sad. We still ran to try to catch it and it was gone. So that was unfortunate. There were no other flights out the night that night. Anyway, so it ended up actually being cheaper to Uber. Uber from like three hours from Chicago all the way up to um, where I live. So it was a night, but all the more reason to want to reset and feel fresh and just kind of get my life back in order today. So I just woke up a few minutes ago. It's about 11, which is late but also considering I was up for almost 24 hours yesterday because I had to wake up early yesterday too. That's fine, but I do need some coffee. I need to sort myself out because I have to be somewhere at 1230. And then also we're gonna go downtown and explore some art. There's a festival. I don't know if you would call it a festival, but sort of a festival um, in downtown. Grand Rapids that has like two to three weeks of art displayed all throughout the city, which is amazing. And a bunch of my friends are gonna go and like walk around the town, walk around the city and explore the art and stuff. So um, I'm going to go join that later. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably do some cooking tonight once we get our um, grocery order, but for now, let's get started with our day. First things first is I need to make myself a coffee. I don't know if I'm the only one, and maybe this is just during the summer, I'm not sure, but if it's past a certain time, hot brewed coffee just doesn't sound as appetizing to me as an iced coffee. So even though it's my first coffee for the day, and I rarely have iced coffees as my first coffee for the day, that's what I'm going to have. So let's go make ourselves a nice coffee. Okay, while my coffee is brewing, I need to change. Today is, it's like end of September, but today's oddly warm. I think it's going to be low to mid 70s. No, wait, Alexa, what's the temperature going to be today? Okay, it's 68 degrees right now, but it's going to be 78 later. So layers is the answer to that. I think I'm going to wear my quartz because that just sounds transitional <laughs> fall, but then I'm gonna wear something lighter on top and then maybe like a sweater or something over. So let's see what we get to. Okay, experimenting, obviously got my cords on. I feel like this could be kind of fun. I know it's a little more like, dressy's not really the word, but a little more like dressed up than my average walk around town day. But I also feel like art prize is kind of an event. So this could be fun and it's just easy, but then, my thinking is maybe I wear this cute um, sweater with all these little baubles on it uh, over it, which tones it down a little bit, makes it a little more cash, but also is quite interesting. And even though it's a sweater, so it provides some level of warmth, it is like rather thin, like I'm not gonna get hot in this. So I feel like this is good, just layer piece. I'll probably wear some sneaks and I can like take it off, wear it like this too, which is kind of cute. So yeah, okay, easy. Let's go start. Oh, my coffee. Let's go put my coffee together and then we'll start some laundry. Hmm. 
Okay, I actually don't have a ton of time because I'm going over to my brother and sister-in-law's house to help babysit for an hour before the rest of my activities. But I need to get laundry in the laundry washer. Oh my gosh, I'm still waking up. I need to get laundry in the washer and then put makeup on and then get over there in not that much time. So let's go quick. <laughs> I have so much laundry from this week because I feel like every single day we were out doing things, exploring, running around. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I swear this entire suitcase is just dirty clothes at this point. <laughs> All right, my face is ready. I'm going to put my perfume and my lips on after I go babysit because I feel like that might be a little done up for babysitting. Last thing I'm gonna put on is my go-to Kapari sunscreen when I want to have a little bit of something extra. It has kind of glitter speckles, golden glitter speckles in it. And I wanted to make sure that I had at least a little bit of sun protection on my body um, because Walking around Art Prize, I have gotten burned multiple times because you like think it's fall <laughs> and then you start going around and it'll get you. Just one nice little coat for some extra attention. I don't know if you can even see it in this lighting, but do you see how I'm just kind of glossier? <laughs> That's the look I'm going for. Or dewy, as my husband has recently learned a new vocabulary word and now just says it all the time. Okay, let's go. Hi there. You may notice a little change of scenery. I am at my brother and sister-in-law's house. The kiddos are fast asleep. I just finished the final touches on the edit of the video going up this Sunday, which is our closet clean out with Alex. I hope you guys love it. It's up now, so if you haven't gone and checked that out, do it we did major damage on her closet. Like she got rid of so much stuff. It was a blast. We saw things that I haven't seen for literally probably a decade in her closet, as well as some really cute new pieces. I think she's so stylish. So if you haven't checked that out, please go do that. I think you're gonna love it. And now I'm going to take a little survey for my Bible study. We're doing spiritual gifts this year or this like fall and um, there's like a survey to try to kind of pinpoint some of your um, gifts. So I'm gonna do that. And then I don't really know when they're coming back. <laughs> um, so we'll kind of play that by ear, but I'm headed down to our prize right after that. So 
I might run home, swap my laundry briefly, and then go in um, to town. So we'll just play it by ear, but that's what I'm up to. I forgot to tell you, my sweet husband also made me some mac and cheese yesterday because he knows that I love it. And I didn't have time to make myself a real breakfast or a lunch, brunch. I woke up at 11, so whatever you would call that. So this is lunch and it's delicious. White cheddar shells. Mm. <laughs> If you can hear me, I have made it to Art Prize. I am vlogging in the most public of public, which is new for me. Um, but I have this thing where like, I'll never see these people again, so I don't get as embarrassed as if I was like with people I knew. I don't know, anyway. I'm headed to a place called DeVos Place. It's where most of the biggest, most like profound art pieces tend to go. It's the biggest venue. Um, and then that's across from a pretty hotel called Amway. So we're headed to both of those and I think that's where my friends are. I got street parking, which if you can see the amount of people around me is wild, but um, I'm very pleased. So I'll catch some snippets of the art and hope you enjoy it as much as I am going to as well. Part of the art prize. We just walked through these booths. Emily and I went to a fair last weekend, two weekends ago. I, <laughs> I think last weekend and a lot of the booths are similar, so I've already bought some stuff from them, so probably not gonna buy any today. But just ice cream for today. I could not turn down the ice cream. It looks so good. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey guys, I am home. How cool was that festival? I love Art Prize and you got to see a lot of the beautiful pieces in it, which I'm glad because it's kind of hard to explain unless you actually like get to see them. But man, today has not gone the way I expected. <laughs> per my like joy and own choice, not like, a, not in a bad way, but I don't think I can even call this a reset day anymore. I feel rejuvenated, like I feel great. I don't feel tired, which is kind of surprising, honestly. And I'm not really doing as much around the house as I, like my typical reset day. So I think I'm just gonna turn this into a weekend vlog because wow, this weekend is so fun. <laughs> I, um, like you saw, went to our prize and we were there for a few hours, even longer than I really expected. I was at my brother and sister-in-law's longer than I expected. So just generally kind of my social activities are a little bit longer. But while we were at Art Prize, we learned that there is going to be a silent disco in one of the like central plazas downtown Grand Rapids tonight. And when I tell you, I haven't been to many silent discos in my time, but when I have, they are so fun. If you ever have an opportunity to go to a silent disco with your friends, I wouldn't probably ever go alone. The fun part is like the friends part sort of. Anyway, you should go. Do not turn down. Proceed past go. <laughs> so um, anyway, I am gonna go tonight and Jonathan's working right now, but he works really close to that plaza. And so he's just gonna like walk to join us after he's done working, which is gonna be so fun. So I don't actually have that much time right now. I am going to, I just picked up my groceries. So I'm gonna put those away and do just a little bit of a fridge clear out. I think there's maybe some stuff in there that's ready to go. Just reset, but I'm not gonna cook tonight. 
do some cooking tomorrow. Tomorrow will feel more like a cozy Sunday reset. I don't think we have any real plans other than church in the morning. So that's actually really nice because I just really wanna like watch football with Jonathan at home, cook a cozy fall meal um, and do some of those things. And today can be extroverted fun about town, honestly a workout. <laughs> It was so beautiful today. Like the weather was perfect. Way more friends than I expected were able to go to our prize. Everyone was just in such a great mood. I, can you tell I'm like glowing? I'm, I just, uh, I love my friends. I love my city. It's just such a good day. I wish Jonathan could have been there, but I'm so happy he gets to join us tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> almost say without a shadow of a doubt, I did not order this many yellow onions. Oh no. That's what I was smelling. Okay. It's fine. I will absolutely do my best to work through these, but I swear I ordered a single yellow onion. I'm gonna have to make sure I didn't end up paying a bunch for these. Whoo. I love and will continue to love doing Meyer pickups or grocery pickups generally. Genuinely, nine times out of 10, they're amazing. Every once in a while you get kind of a rogue item. And in this case, it's great because it's even more than I ordered. <laughs> but it does make me laugh, I will be honest. Bananas, my go-to. I did order a big bag of honey crisp apples. Oh, which smelled so good. And they're from Michigan. This, this is fall. This is, put it in a candle. Oh, you guys, so good. Yum. I do take these back to Meyer to be recycled. I just need to throw that out there in case you were wondering. I don't like how many they used either. Cool. Silent Disc goes a bust, you guys. Very much a bust. What she stands in right now isn't the music. Hold on, let me see if I can get you to hear the music. <laughs> Could you hear it? It's not the vibe. It's like lo-fi, chill, study music. <laughs> they only have one DJ. I think they're struggling, to be honest. They, the DJ booth looks very stressed. But anyway, okay. Never mind. Might go do something else instead. <laughs> Right, you guys here is the state of the office now that I've organized it a bit we have a few things out but that's just life so <laughs> I feel like um, this corner that's more for storage and keeping things a bit cleaner so they don't have to be on our desks looks really good I'm happy with it please ignore my dying fig <sighs> I've never been able to keep one alive but I found one super cheap so I figured I'd try might have to get something else for in here but anyway here we go. Da, da, da. All right, so I've hung these two things, um, which looks nice. This eventually I wanna get like a really nice frame on. This is that incredible painting, handmade painting I got when I was in France. Like look how beautiful that is. Anyway, hung that up. Um, and then I already talked to you through this. And then this again is primarily storage but just wanted it to look nicer, wanted a nice place to put it, um, organize things a little bit more. These boxes, these bins are also from Ikea. I 
bothers me a bit that you can't um, put them this way because they are too long, but I still think they're pretty this way. And I like them because they have inside um, compartments, which just keep things extra organized. And they were really inexpensive, but they're good quality. So we have a nice little thing. Again, there's plenty of spacing. We're gonna keep filling it out as time goes on, but I don't wanna force fill it. Um, so for now, this feels organized enough. Don't need to create clutter just to like fill a bookcase out. And also I'm not really sure if Jonathan's gonna wanna keep adding to it or if he likes the amount of things on his desk right now. I like my desk to be as minimal as possible. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to get as much off as possible. But yeah, that feels really good. I am going to relax for a little bit. Um, it is, what time is it? It's 10 past 12. So I'm going to, I think, eat some lunch. And I have a suitcase that needs to be unpacked and some laundry to fold, so I'll do that. And then I think I might drive around and I have to get that oil changed, but since I'll be out and about, maybe I'll go to Goodwill and treat myself a little bit for that. That would be fun. <laughs> so, very good day. I'm happy. Hi everyone. I have been running errands, as you know, and one of the errands was to get my oil changed and my tires rotated, so I went and serviced my car. While I was there, I learned that there is a filter in your engine that helps to filter all of the air um, as you're driving into that goes into your engine. And I had my cabin filter. There's also a filter inside of your cabin for your AC. I had that replaced and it cost $50. And I told myself, there is no way these things cost $50. So I canceled my engine filter request with them and said that I would look into it and come back if I need it and found one for $20 at an auto parts store up the road, and now I'm replacing it myself for the first time. And here's the thing, there's some things in your car that you absolutely should have an expert do. Changing filters, in my mind, not necessary. So I just YouTube a video on how to do it, and I'm just gonna do it. So if you haven't replaced either filter in your car anytime recently, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what car you drive, I think, Google it first. <laughs> but most of you, I feel confident, could do this yourself and save yourself a bunch of money. So, you are capable. Theme song on this channel. You're capable. Even if you haven't done it before. I unclipped all of the clips around my engine cover. In fact, you want to see a little here. This is not a how to channel, but I'll show you anyway. This is my car. This is my cover. That's the filter. That's where this is going. A piece of cake, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you can do it too. butter chicken and zucchini rice pilaf. Delicious. It also has some orzo in it, which I think is quite interesting, but it's been very simple. I would say there's a few steps because you're having to grate the zucchini and the parmesan and stuff, but for the most part, it's been a very like mindless cooking experience while I watch a little bit of football. Um, <laughs> just for kind of, in my mind, like this is such a restful Sunday, like so fall. I have a fall candle going in my living room. Like I just feel really at peace, which is so nice. Uh, so I figured I would bring you along for kind of the last portion of this vlog, um, see a little bit of the cooking and just like have this nice cozy Sunday with me. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I'll probably sign off pretty soon after that. So let's get some cooking and then I'll say goodnight later.
Alexa, stop. All right, you guys, and with that, we are going to call it a day. I am going to tuck into this. Jonathan's gonna be here probably 10 minutes, and we're just gonna end our night, watch some football, relax, eat some good food, and just get ready for, for me at least, a week, a week back at work, honestly, since I was gone last week. Um, it's gonna be a busy week this week, I think. But it's been a great weekend. It's been a great weekend. It's been an even better weekend than I expected it to be, and I'm so grateful for that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for following along. I hope you have been enjoying the videos lately. I'm just feeling inspired and excited to share more of my life with you. And hopefully with the craziness of summer um, being over, being able to get back to some of the um, house renovations and stuff like that too. So anyway, just a lot, a lot to look forward to. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do a lot of organization, decluttering. I'd like to start doing some more cook with me. It's just kind of day in my life. And I hope that if you are, are inspired or enjoy those things too, that you will join this community. With that, I hope you guys had a great weekend and have a great start to your week. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.